Hello everyone, this is Saurav Kumar and welcome you to all class 10th physics. Okay, so in the previous classes we have already studied about the refraction, laws of refraction, even refractive index, factor affecting refractive index and uh, uh, and also uh, the wavelength relation between the wavelength of the different medium and uh, principle of reversibility also. So, in this class, we are going to discuss refraction of light through a rectangular glass block. Okay, so let's continue. Here, this is the rectangular glass block. P, Q, R, S is the rectangular glass block. Okay, this is the rectangular glass block. Here, this is the surface PQ and this is the surface SR. Now, the ray of light, ray of light OA, OA, ray of light, ray of light incident, incident on the surface of PQ. Okay, so this is the incidence ray. OA is the incidence ray. The ray OA incidence on a surface PQ. And here, this is air and this is the glass. So, this is one is rarer medium and this one is the denser medium. Okay, this one is the denser medium. Now, this is the rectangular glass block which is a transparent and the light ray comes from rarer to denser. Then what happened here? Here the ray of light which incidence on a surface of PQ after refraction, after refraction it slows down and bend towards the normal, bend towards the normal NOM. Here N O M is the normal. Okay. After refraction, the speed of the ray of light slows down and bends towards the normal because light ray travel from rarer to denser. So it bends towards the normal. So this is the after refraction ray goes from OB and this OB is the refracting ray. Okay, this OB is the refracting ray. Now, this incidence ray which incident on a surface of PQ making an angle I. This is I and this is the incident angle. And now, after refraction it goes from the direction OB and this makes an angle R which is refracting angle. Okay. If this glass block is not here, okay. If this glass block is not present, then in that case, this incident ray goes in this direction in the breaking line, green breaking line direction. Okay. If there is no glass block, then this incident ray goes in the direction of this green line. Okay. So, after refraction, it goes from OB. Now, this is the glass block and it is the transparent surface. So, this OB again refracted by this surface SR. Now, it, at this time, this is the glass and this is the air. So, this is the denser medium and this one is the rarer medium. In this case, after refraction, in this case, for this particular case, refraction from the surface of SR. Now, this OB is the incident ray and this BC is the refracting ray. Okay. So, in this case, light comes from denser to rarer. Now, in this case, it goes away from the normal and the speed of the light is increases because the light travel from denser to rarer. Now, in this case, the light comes from 
in the direction of OB and after refraction it goes from BC. Now this is the angle of refraction in this case sorry this is the angle of incidence for the surface of SR. Okay, this is the angle of incidence in the surface and for the surface of SR and this angle is equal to R also. This angle is equal to R also because this is PQ and this is RS. Both are parallel line and this is the angle. This is R. So, this is also R. Which angle? This is uh, alternate angle. Okay. So, this angle and this angle both are equal. So, this is R. So, this is also R. Now, after refraction, it goes from BC and this angle E, this angle E, this angle E is called emergent angle. Emergent angle and this BC is called emergence ray. Okay. Now, both the surface are parallel and this angle and this angle are same. This angle and this angle are same angle. MOB. Angle MOB is equal to angle angle B angle O B and S. Okay. Angle N O N B O. Angle N B O. Both are equal. Is equal to R. Okay. Because this PQ reason is PQ parallel to RS. Now, according to the principle of reversibility which we have studied in the previous class, according to the principle of reversibility, if principle of reversibility, if the ray incident on this surface and after refraction it goes to this direction, okay, this direction, this is angle I and this is angle R, if this process will reverse, let us assume this is A, B and C. This is AB is the angle of incidence and BC is the angle of refraction. If this process is reversed, then if the ray of light goes in this direction BC, okay, if angle of, if rays of light goes in this direction BC and after refraction from this surface, it must, according to the principle of reversibility, it must, it must goes in this direction which is BA. Okay. AB is angle of AB is incident ray and BC is refracting ray. If this process is changed or reversed then in this case BC is the incident ray and after incidence after incidence in this direction from this surface, it must goes from AB. It must goes from AB. Okay, so in this case, so in this case, so this is the principle of reversibility. Okay, this is the principle of reversibility. Same rule is applied here. Same rule is applied here. If this angle is same, this is R and this is R, and if this is the incidence angle and this is the refracting angle or this is the refracting ray. So, if this angle is same, if this angle is same R and R here, so this E, so this angle E must be equal to this angle I. So, this angle E must be equal to I according to the principle of reversibility. According to the principle of reversibility. Okay. According to the principle of reversibility. So, this angle E is equal to angle I. Now, if this angle is equal to this, so we can say that this AO, this ray AO and this BC are parallel. Are parallel to each other. Now, if this line AO 
is extended in this direction, extended in this direction, this green breaking line direction. So this is the this is the displacement. Okay, this is the displacement. Why? Because of this rectangular block. If this rectangular block is not here, so in the in that case, this BC is this BC is combined with this green line. Okay, so this both the line are parallel. This both the line are parallel, and this displacement, this displacement is called lateral displacement. Here, x is equals to lateral displacement. Lateral displacement. Okay, this x is equals to lateral displacement, or we can say that perpendicular distance. Perpendicular distance from let us assume this is x and this is y perpendicular distance from x to y okay and this is called lateral displacement so this is the refraction of light through a rectangular glass block if in case there is a question you have to find this value of x if there is a question and say find the value of x then what will you do in that case so look here if i extend this line here so this is a triangle this is the triangle this is b this is o and let us assume this is m so this is the triangle and this is the angle r okay this is the angle r angle of refraction and this is this is r cube and this is if we can say that this is b width of rectangular block so this is so this is b okay now this is angle r this is angle r and this is the width of b now if i take here sin r sin r there if this is angle in front of this angle is perpendicular so according to sin r is perpendicular upon here perpendicular is mb perpendicular upon base base is b so sin r is equals to mb sin r is equals to mb upon b okay sorry sorry sin r is equals to mb this is mb upon this now if we have to find the value of x in the question there is given all this data and uh, we have to calculate this value of x then how will i calculate this value of x so look here this is one triangle this is one triangle i draw this here this is o and this is b and this is the perpendicular say m okay so this is the triangle right angle triangle okay this one this one i write only this one so this is triangle this angle is r and this is the ob and this is this length should be equal to this qr okay and this qr is the this qr is the width of this rectangular block so i say that this is b this side is b so now this is b and this is hypotenuse and this is perpendicular because in front of angle in, in front of the angle the side is perpendicular so i write here cos r is equals to base base is this okay if this is a perpendicular then this is base so this is b upon hypotenuse is ob okay so now ob is equals to b upon cos r if i put the value of r then we easily get the value of cos r and b is given in the question so we easily calculate the value of ob okay write down all the thing which i have written here all are very important 
so this is op this is not given in your book so please concentrate on here this is ob so i calculate this ob now again now again if i now again if i take this triangle this triangle this one this 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 okay now i draw this triangle here this is o this is here it is b this is lateral displacement x and this is the green line okay this is the green breaking line now this is the perpendicular direction this is the perpendicular distance okay lateral displacement is the perpendicular distance from x to y this is the perpendicular distance i say this is x and this is y so this is 90 degree okay this is 90 degree now if this total angle is i and this angle is r this one so this angle is i minus r okay if this angle is i this is r so this angle is i minus r how this is i so this whole angle is i this whole angle is i and this is r so this angle is i minus r so this is i minus r this is i minus r now we have to calculate this x okay and we know the value of this ox or ob ox or ob both the point are same x and ob so this is ob and we get this value from here okay now by using this and this angle we easily get this value this is the angle in front of this angle this is the perpendicular now i write here sign angle is i minus r is equal to sin i minus r sin i minus r is equal to perpendicular perpendicular is x and hypotenuse if this is perpendicular then this is base and this is hypotenuse so here this is ob now this sin i minus r value of i and value of r is given in the question i and r is given in the question ob i calculated here okay now by putting this value we can easily get this x is equals to ob sin i minus r okay so this is the value of lateral displacement so this is the value of lateral displacement please please remember this how i get this value x okay this is not in your book so in numerical this is directly used or you can prove in the or in the exam there is asked a question so calculate the lateral displacement by using this diagram so this is the answer x is equals to ob sin i minus r if in the question there is width ob is given 10 and angle i angle i is angle i is equal to 45 degree or 60 degree if angle i is 60 degree angle r is 30 degree then we can easily get x is equals to ob is 10 sin 60 minus 30 so is equals to 10 into sin 30 which is 10 into half is equal to 5 centimeters this distance is how much 5 centimeters this is very 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 important so please remember this okay now the next one is the lateral displacement x depends on on which factors this lateral displacement is depend the first one is the thickness of the block thickness of the block how much the block is thick so according to this factor according to this factor lateral displacement is directly proportional to thickness if there is a thick glass block if there is a thick glass block then lateral displacement is also large okay it is directly proportional to each other now the angle of incidence if this angle of incidence is high then refract uh, then the lateral displacement is also large so again angle of incidence is directly proportional to directly proportional to 
lateral displacement which is x okay if this angle of incidence is greater then lateral displacement is also greater now the last one is the refractive index of the block if refractive index is greater then lateral displacement is also greater okay uh, so both the all the three values are directly proportional to the lateral displacement now the other case is also here if refractive index is directly proportional to lateral displacement then in this case here the relation between mu mu is equals to c by v so if mu is greater then velocity is less okay if mu is greater velocity is less so if velocity is mu is inversely proportional to v now if v is less then we can also say that lambda is less because v is directly proportional to lambda so mu is greater then lambda is less so in this case if mu is directly proportional to x then we can say that we can say that lambda lambda is what wavelength is inversely proportional to x okay if refractive index is greater then wavelength is less and if wavelength is less then refract uh, what lateral displacement is value of lateral displacement is high all i discussed this relation i discussed earlier earlier video so please watch that video okay so this is all about the refraction of light through a rectangular glass block and here is the very important term which i use lateral displacement i got this value also from this diagram and also this is the factor on which lateral displacement depend so this is all about the video and if you have any confusion or doubt please put a comment in the comment box or ask through a message or call okay so stay home stay safe and thank you for watching this video and uh, have a good day